The sleepless nights Egypt's Pentathlon Federation spent to prepare for the World Series paid off. Members of the International Union and players say the organization is much better than World Cup 1. That a World Cup event, it's, it, there are a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of things going on. Uh, this isn't uh, like football. There's many, many pieces. Uh, the Egyptian Federation have done a great job uh, putting this together. First off, the facilities here at the uh, Cairo Stadium and the Olympic, uh, the National Olympic Committee of, of Egypt are far exceed my expectations. It inspires. I, the Olympic movement, the Olympic Games is an inspirational thing. So when a young athlete comes in and sees these facilities, they get rings in their eyes. They think, I want to go to the Olympics, and it's very, very inspirational. Egypt qualified with four players to the men's final and just one woman. She ranked 22 out of 36. The men's finals are scheduled for Sunday. One particular Egyptian player caught the world's attention. The International Union of Modern Pentathlon says that all eyes this year are on Amr al-Ghazili. The Egyptian champion took the silver medal in last year's World Series, and this year he's expected to become the first runner. In fact, El Ghazeri is expected to win a medal in the 2016 Rio de Janeiro Olympics. Egypt's World Cup 2 competition was fierce. The finals, though, are a tougher fight. So we have like the world champion uh, Alexander Lison and uh, the third place in the Olympic uh, Adam Marossi. So they both were in my group and a um, couple of French guys. Uh, one of them won the World Cup final and the other has the fifth place. So it's a very, very hard, rough competition. It gets tougher this year because in addition to the world ranking, players get points that would help them qualify to the 2016 Olympics. They're going to be fighting tooth and nail. I saw the, I've seen the running course. It's not easy. The footing is like sand, like running on the beach. So it takes a great deal of strength. The riding course is maximum height. Those are big jumps out there. And those, the horses having never seen them before and these athletes never having seen these horses, I would, <laughs> to be honest with you, I, I would be very nervous personally. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.